What's up, it's Chris Heria. Welcome to the vlog. Today I'm gonna to be challenging myself for the next 24 hours to see if I can only eat the exact amount of calories that I can actively burn in a day. Of course, you're burning calories involuntarily throughout the entire day, whether you're sleeping or not doing anything at all. But today I'm only gonna be counting the calories that I can actively burn in a workout. So it's gonna be a lot of training, but I'm gonna be keeping track of all the calories I burn with this little device. It's not 100% accurate, but it's gonna give me an idea of how many calories I'm burning, which is gonna allow me to know how many calories I can eat within each meal. Now the main reason why I'm doing this challenge is to show you guys how much work it really takes to burn calories. And maybe you'll think twice about eating that extra bag of chips, candy bar, or anything really. And you'll see how hard it is to actually burn it off. I'm also going to be doing different types of training. So you'll see that different types of training are going to burn calories at different rates. Some exercises or routines may build more muscle and strength, but burn less calories. Some routines may burn more calories, but not build as much strength and muscle. You're going to get a perspective of all of that today. Let's start off with the first workout. What I do every morning, that's going to be 45 minutes of cardio and then hundred pull-ups and hundred push-ups. Let's go for it. So right now I'm just getting warmed up and walking for about a minute and a half. I'm gonna start tracking my calories. Bring this incline up. All right, now when it comes to using the treadmill, there's a lot of factors that are gonna determine how many calories that you burn. Of course, how fast you're going, the incline and what you're going at, and the way that you're running. I'll put it on an incline, let's say 10, and I'll be going at the speed of 10, eight, something around there, and I'll go for 15 seconds with a 10 second break in between. I normally like to do that first, and then I finish the rest off going at a nice pace, still with an incline. You get your heart rate up way faster than just running at a steady pace, flat. Let's go, we got one more minute left. I'm gonna finish off the rest. Just normally running on an incline. Whew. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna bring the incline down to a five. Bring the pace down to a six. Get a regular hit with your breathing. And through your nose, out through your mouth. Last minute, give it everything you got. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Whew. There we have it. Let's check this out. For 30 minutes on the treadmill, we're estimated at around 425 calories so far. All right, for the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna do sets of 100 skips with a 30 second break in between. Let's go ahead and set up our calorie calculator. Keep in mind, all the calories we're burning today are gonna be different for each person. It's all determined based off of your age, your gender, how much you weigh, and your muscle mass. Last 45 seconds. There we have it. So that's 45 minutes of cardio and we're already at 561 calories. All right, let's go ahead and set up our calorie counter. Now we're gonna be doing a different type of training. We're gonna be doing calisthenics, body weight training, going for reps instead of steady state cardio or high intensity interval training cardio. All right, now there's many ways to execute 100 pull-ups and 100 push-ups. You can go through all the push-ups first and then go through all the pull-ups. You can do four sets of 25 to complete the push-ups. Then you can do however many sets to complete your pull-ups. Today, I'm just gonna be getting through this really quick. I'm gonna do 10 pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 sets. Let's go for it. All right, so there we have the first set. Feel free to switch up the variations. You can go for neutral grip, some chin-up grip on your pull-ups, do some diamond push-ups, mix it all up. We are down to the last set. All right, we are officially done. It took us about 14 minutes. See how many calories we burnt. We burnt 61 calories. I don't know how accurate that is. I'm pretty sure this device doesn't know what exact exercise we're doing, but that's something to go off of. All right, we just crushed our workout. We were officially training for one full hour. That's 30 minutes on the treadmill. 15 minutes jump rope, and around 13 minutes to finish our pull-ups and push-ups, totaling 622 calories. We got to build some muscle, burn some fat, build some endurance and explosive power. Now it's time to get some food. Let's see what we can eat with 622 calories. Then I'm gonna go pick up my son from school. All right, I actually went to go pick up my son from school first. My first meal of the day is normally after I pick up my son from school anyway. So let's see what he wants for lunch today. Son, how was school? Good. Today I'm on a vlog where I can only eat whatever has the same amount of calories that I've burned. So today I've been training, I did my morning routine and I burned 622 calories this morning. So whatever we eat, I just have to be able to, it can only be 622 calories for me. So what do you want to eat today? How about we get some like chicken or steak or something? Down with that. How much do you think 622 calories is? Like a full soda bottle. It could be man, and I just trained hard. I was doing like, 
sprints on the treadmill and on an incline. I was jump roping. I did 100 pull-ups and 100 push-ups. By the way, we do that workout every day. Hey, I gotta see what I can actually eat with 622 calories. All right, man, it's time to eat. <laughs> My son's doing his push-ups because he wants this West snack. Let's go. Let's go. I love that attitude, son. All right, I'm ready for my first meal of the day. I have half a cup of beans, which is 110 calories, eight ounces of chicken breast, which is 302 calories, half a cup of white rice, which is 102 calories, a cup of Caesar salad, which is about 120 calories, and a cup of broccoli, which is only 30 calories. In total, that's gonna be 664 calories. We're actually 42 calories overboard, so we're gonna have to make that up in the next workout. But within this meal, we have 49 grams of carbs, 24 grams of fat, and 59 grams of protein. For my son's meal, I got him about five, six ounces of skirt steak, about a half a cup of white rice, a cup of salad, and a nice little bun. I don't know if you're gonna eat all your food, but you just eat as much as you want. Mmm, that's so good, guys. So oh, yeah. Good. Should we tell everybody about our video that we're gonna be doing coming up soon? We're gonna be doing a special taste test, but you guys have to wait to find out. That's right. You guys are gonna love that one. This is crazy. This is my first meal of the day. There's some training coming up next. What I normally do, some technique training for about 20, 30 minutes. I do some boxing and Muay Thai. Normally that lasts like two hours. Then I do weight training for about an hour. It's gonna be different types of training than what I've already been doing today, but that's gonna give you a perspective on burning calories. And hopefully I burn enough calories to be able to keep eating for the rest of the day. As you can see, it's a lot easier to eat calories than it is to burn them. I'm full. You're full already? As long as you ate your belly full. Hi, Dad. I'm gonna go and finish my homework, all right? All right. I love, love you, big boy. <laughs> so I was actually curious what else is around 622 calories. A uh, Big Mac, just a sandwich, is 563 calories. Two cups of tortilla chips is 586 calories. Without sauce, without dip, just the chips alone. And a Subway Club foot long, that's literally 620 calories. You could be eating something that looks like a little bit or eating something that looks like a lot, and they both could be around 622 calories. And also the macros and nutritional value can also greatly vary between them. That's why it's so important to know exactly what you're putting into your body, especially if you want to be performing at the top level, or even if you just wanted to make the most amount of progress and gains possible. All right, we're getting back to the office now. Let's see if I can burn more calories. Okay, okay. Damn, a whole full circle. Oh, what up, Chris? That was goody, bro. How's your flight, man? It was mellow. It was oh, really yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. How you guys filming, bro? I'm actually in the middle of a challenge. I can only eat the amount of calories that I burned today. Did you work out today? No, bro, I'm straight off the flight. Oh, let's catch this workout. Oh, you down? Man. All right, we're gonna do a couple drills on the bag. We're gonna go 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, one minute on, 30 seconds off, working with different time variations, working on our power shots, working on our combinations, and distance control as we're moving with the bag. We're also gonna be imitating rounds in the ring on the bag, so we'll be going for three minute rounds, two minute rounds, with a minute rest in between. That boy is certified bodyguard. Get the rhythm, you see? Bomb, 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 right? Then you just extend that. And then hit it one at a time, you do half time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're closing out this boxing session with a double end bag. When you're hitting the double end bag, every time you hit it, it's throwing a punch right back at you. So if you stand here, boom, it's gonna hit you right in the face. It teaches you to have head movement, how to, as soon as you throw a punch, you get out the way. As soon as you throw a punch, you slip, you throw one back. All right, we're gonna finish this off with two minutes of abs. Two, one, nine, peace. Peace. 
I couldn't even, I barely could keep up. Hey, I'm proud of Boo. I know he's a pro skater and everything. When you're skating out in these streets, you gotta have insane cardio. But he also stays super fit. He's actually one of our sponsored athletes. He's always throwing out content that inspires me to get off my ass and start training. Check out all his content and his journey on Instagram. That's Boo Johnson and his YouTube channel, Boo J the Kid. All right, bro, we did it. We just completed that session. We were training for a little over an hour and 15 minutes and we did 734 calories. So that's a I, meal. Th I thought we were gonna hit a thousand. Well, we probably did. You know, this thing isn't 100% accurate. Yeah. But, hey, so that's a meal. What do you wanna eat? I'm, I'm honestly down for rice and beans. Something Word. Like All right, so this is the second meal of the day. I kept it light. I had rice, beans, some avocado, tomatoes on top, a little bit of cheese. On my side, got this healthy protein smoothie that's around 300 calories with the grilled chicken salad. This is around 688 calories. The vinaigrette right here is gonna be around 35 five calories. We have cilantro in here, one calorie, eight ounces of chicken breast. That's 302 calories. A quarter cup of tomatoes, which is six calories. A quarter cup of chopped onions, 17 calories. And two cups of spinach, which is around 14 calories. This is 34 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and almost 80 grams of protein, 79 grams of protein. This is this is a killer right here. Oof. I had to cool down after that session. Who left to unpack his things, so it is just me. And if I plan on having another meal for the day, I'm going to have to get this last workout in. So that's what I'm getting into now. I'm on the Harrier Pro app. We're going to get into this skill workout for shoulders. So for round one, we're going to be working on our front levers. We're going to be doing negative front levers and ice cream makers, five reps of three sets each. In round two, we're going to emphasize on our 90 degree handstand push ups. So we'll be doing reps of those along with 90 degree negatives and 90 degree presses, three sets of each one of those as well. And then we're going to finish off with some 90 degree holds for five seconds, three sets. That's going to be our skill training routine. You'll also see that if you swipe left, you'll get the intermediate version of this routine. And if you swipe left again, you'll get the beginner version of this routine. So whatever fitness level you're at choose it and don't forget to like this workout and leave a comment so if you didn't want to start the routine right now you can always schedule it for later but after we finish our skill training we're going to get into our back and biceps workout round one we're going to be warming up our lower back with reverse leg raises and then doing an antagonist muscle group which is dips we're going to do both of those for four sets after that round two is going to start off with l-sit pull-ups after that we're going to do weighted pull-ups then we're going to get into deadlifts with the barbell and then we're going to get into bent over rows and that set is really going to build strength and muscle in our back then we're going to get into the last round three and this is going to emphasize on our biceps. We're going to start off with some switching one arm chin up holds. Then we're going to go into pronated bicep curl 21s. And then we're going to finish off with reverse Australian chin ups. This is a great exercise to really work our Hefesto as well. We're going to do that last round for four sets. And that's going to be the rest of the routine for the night and the rest of working out for the day. Let's go ahead and get this started. So much more chill than all the other workouts. I feel like I should be breaking a sweat right now. But that's what I love about technique training. You don't have to go super, super hard. In fact, it's better to not be completely fatigued when you're doing skill training so that you can actually develop these advanced movements properly with perfect form. Great job, now take a break. I don't need a break, Chris. We're gonna skip that. Last set, let's get it. Moving on, last part of technique, we're getting to the handstand 90 degree push-up. The 90 degree handstand push-up is one of the best upper body exercises with one of the largest range of motions, developing body control, body awareness, and an insane amount of upper body strength. And once you can press your own body weight, you're basically a walking gym. All right, I have two more exercises to go for skill training, but we're already at 20 minutes and 86 calories in. Let's keep it going. I'm breaking a sweat, but even more so, I got a crazy pump. Last move, we're gonna finish it right now. We're at 25 minutes. All right, there we have the first routine done. 25 minutes, 103 calories. We can go ahead and finish this workout. It's gonna save all our stats. You'll also be able to make a post about it, share it with everyone on that app, upload a progress photo, or an end result photo rather. But most importantly, is that this saves all your information so that we can continue to push you within the app, slowly start to increase your repetitions, decrease your rest time, increase the amount of weight, so that you start actually getting some real results and start seeing some real progress. Now we're ready for the last workout of the day. We only burned 103 calories. That's definitely not enough for dinner, so we're gonna have to make up for it in this last workout session. Let's go for it. Check this out. If you wanna have an overview of the rest of the workout, see what's left in the round, where you're at in the round, after we're gonna get to round two, looks like that. All right, 
Moving into the next round, we got L-sit pull-ups, 10 reps. Great job, now take a break. There we have it. Moving on to the last round, emphasizing on our biceps. We have about 10 minutes left to complete this workout and that's gonna total one hour of training time with the skill training. Next, we're gonna move into bar curls. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We just officially finished the last workout of the day. With both workouts combined, that's a full hour of training. And according to our calorie calculator, that's a total of 383 calories. It's not much, but I'm dead tired. And that's gonna be dinner for tonight. And we're home. All right, made it home. It's pretty late, but we got dinner. I was able to make something within 383 calories. We have three and a half ounces of cooked steak is 135 calories. Two tablespoons of grated Parmesan, that's gonna be 42 calories. We have around 14 croutons in here, which is around 70 calories. And we have one cup of Caesar salad with a couple drips of light Caesar dressing. That's gonna be 135 calories. To drink, we have a nice glass of water. The whole meal being 382 calories, 12.7 grams of carbs, nine 8.8 grams of fat and basically 30 grams of protein. Now to fuel muscle growth, it's recommended to have at least one gram of protein per pound of muscle that you weigh. So me being around 173 pounds, I should be eating around 173 grams of protein. Now if I really wanted to get that in, this is one can of solid white albacore tuna in water. As you can see, one can has 130 calories and almost 30 grams of protein. So two of these cans would be like 260 calories with basically 60 grams of protein. Now if I would have done this, with the Caesar salad instead of the steak, this would have definitely hit my target. And that's why it's important if you're trying to hit these specific macro goals to know the nutritional facts about the food you're eating. Not just know the nutritional facts and counting your calories if you have to, to ensure that you're actually meeting those goals. But anyway, I gotta get to bed, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, we did it team. It's been officially 24 hours and I woke up feeling amazing. I got a great pump. It was an amazing challenge. It really put a lot of things into perspective. But within these past 24 hours, I officially burned 1,739 calories and my total workout time was three hours and 14 minutes. And I ate 1,734 calories. So I actually burned five more calories than I ate, which is technically a good thing. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below if that qualifies as a win for this challenge. Now keep in mind all these calorie counters and devices are just an estimate of how many calories you actually burn. It's not aware of the exercise that you're actually doing, so you may actually be burning more calories than it's suggesting. But what we can see for sure is that different types of training is gonna burn different amounts of calories. Cardio exercises or workouts are gonna burn a lot more calories within the same amount of time as weight training, although weight training is gonna build a lot more strength and muscle. And even when it comes to weight training, depending on what muscle group you're training is gonna determine how many calories you're burning as well. The bigger the muscle group, the more you're gonna burn. And as I mentioned before at the beginning of this video, the rate in which you burn calories is going to differ between every individual based on their age, gender, weight, and their muscle mass. So the more muscle you develop and the more consistent you stay on your journey, the more calories you're actually able to burn. But circling back to training, cardio is not only going to burn excess fat and water retention, but it's also going to improve your cardiovascular system, allowing you to train way longer and way harder as well as improving your health. If you want to see results and you want to get in shape, you're going to need to make sure that you're reaching your caloric goals, but you also want to make sure that you're burning enough calories and working out enough in general. Just like you can't out train a poor diet, you can't just only eat clean and expect to grow muscle without putting effort into your workouts. Look how intense and hard I had to train for a complete hour just to burn a little over 600 calories. If I would have gone to McDonald's right after and had a double quarter pounder with cheese, that one burger would have been way more calories than all the calories I burnt in an hour. Where I could have otherwise made a healthier and smarter decision and eaten something with half the amount of calories and the same if not even more amount of protein to fuel muscle growth. And this is the constant battle for people that are trying to get in shape and why it's so important to count and keep track of your calories and your macros. And that's the main takeaway that I got from this challenge. If you want to see results and progress, you're going to have to put maximum effort into your nutrition and your workout. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something and enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. I appreciate that so much and it helps YouTube
YouTube share my videos to more people out there. So to show my appreciation, if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some Harry apparel. And I just dropped a brand new collection at chrisharrier.com. Check out all our brand new joggers, hoodies, and fleece shorts. Also, if you guys have any other questions you'd like me to elaborate further on, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's have a conversation. So make sure you hit the subscribe button right now with bell notifications on so that you never miss out on a video. I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. You can also check out more of my content on my Instagram, on my TikTok. I always do a giveaway with every post on there as well. So if you want to be a part of that, make sure you're commenting, liking, and subscribed. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love doing these type of vlogs. If there's anything else you'd like to see, leave it down in the comment section below, and I will see you next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. Mad love and peace out. that like button guys.